Hey everybody, how's it going? And welcome back to a brand new video. Now, right now, though, to head in, do some curbside pickup things. But uh, you know, last night I had a little bit of fun, and uh, let me let me show you guys what I mean by a, a little bit of fun. All right, so while having that fun, I bought a couple of things. One of which I'm going to pick up now. The other, oh, I don't even know how I should count it. So I bought three other things, but I bought multiples of two of them. So what is it? The other seven things should be here in a week or so, which will be fun to have them all because I need to. I need four of them. And then the other three are kind of things I've wanted. Kind of kind of the one, but the two have to go with the one. So it's, uh, that's how that works. But, you know, I'll catch up with you guys when I pick up my first thing from the store. All right, just grabbed my things and realized it's not the right thing. So now I have to go see what's going on. But before I do that, little fun story. So as I'm standing out there, as you guys can see, there's like a ledge right up here. If I can get my... So here, there is a ledge. And so I was standing under that ledge. And, and I made the genius decision to, you know what? I'm going to look straight up because I felt one raindrop hit me looked straight up this giant raindrop from the top ropes swan tom bombed me directly into the eye so <laughs> person comes back to the door and i'm standing there just like what got all that figured out turns out so the thing i ordered was sold out though like instead of getting a refund i still got cleats so either way i still have cleats now i have adidas cleats these are my not my first pair of Adidas, but my first conscious pair of Adidas. Because I've been wearing Nike for years, so this will be a big change. I know there's a huge change in the styling. But yeah, I'm excited to have cleats again. <laughs> because, you know, this is a terrible day to get them because it's raining out. But if it was a nice day, I'd be able to go, like, juggle a soccer ball or do something outside. <laughs> but today is not that day. <laughs> stores kind of fall behind when it comes to all of this online shopping stuff. Now, not going to lie to you, it's been a day and I've already used these. So, let's just keep going. Now, I feel like this is the case because, you know, a lot of these stores weren't made for online shopping. And so that kind of creates problems about their sales, per se. Because when you're using online stores such as Amazon, and Amazon's the only one I can think of off the top of my head, other than like Wish, basically anything online that's made to be online, they'll have all their things where as soon as it's sold, it goes through the system and it knocks it off of the availability, I guess you could say. However, with all these in-store stores, or like the stores you're supposed to go to in person, they're not as good as doing all that because their system doesn't always register it as well as in most cases they'll leave it where it's like, oh yeah, we got one one or two in the back. Then you order it and it's just like, ah, yeah, we, we didn't have one or 
two in the back. That's the thing. They'll tell you, like, yeah, we've got some. Meanwhile, it's like... And so that's where I feel like it kind of falls behind. But, you know, that's also because that's not they were intended for. They were made so you could just be like, oh, look at this. That's nice. So is that. Oh, I love this color. They weren't made for, uh... All right, when are you going to ship that to me? Uh, that's a nice price, but the shipping's a little much, or, uh... Or I would have gotten it, but, uh... You know, maybe I can find it somewhere else. You know, they, that's the thing. It comes with the problem. And now, with COVID and quarantine and everything having to be online with only like curbside pickup and all that that's where that gap becomes a big issue because with people going in like in my example like I don't really care like I'm just glad I have soccer cleats and that I can use them however if somebody ordered something like very specific and they go to pick it up and it's just like yeah about that and it's just like oh uh do you have anything similar to it? It's just like, no. No, this is this is the best we can do. It's just like, well, uh, that that's not anything close to what I need. Uh, but, uh, you know, I only paid this much money for it, so I guess I'll take it. But, uh, great. You know, it does create a barrier. With the small things, like I said, it's not as big of a situation. But with the big things, it does create a large problem. But that's the thing, if something is small enough where it's still of use or the use that it has does not become greatly affected, you know, everything's well and good. Like these soccer cleats, I ordered, you know, Nikes, as I said, and these are Adidas. It doesn't create an issue for me, it just creates kind of a learning barrier. Because I've become so used to Nikes that switching into these... You know, they have a whole different construct of the cleat, which isn't a bad thing, because I have been looking at Adidas, and I have been contemplating them, and this kind of kicked me into gear into getting some, even though it wasn't my first choice. Now, I'm going to head outside, kick the ball around for a minute. I would bring you guys outside, however, it's windy. Like, when I say windy, I mean... If I took you guys outside, it would sound like white noise cranked up to about 50 decibels. So I'm going to leave you here, and I'll talk to you guys in a second. So you know, that's why I've kind of been deciding to look at this in a good term. I understand, as I said, if it's a certain thing, you know, you need what you need. However, in this case, I didn't. I got kind of what I was expecting in the soccer cleats, however, you know, I wouldn't chalk this up as a bad experience because it kind of allowed me to step outside of my comfort zone. Now, I'm sorry <laughs> if I'm doing like a breath every once in a while. I just got in from running around and I don't realize how out of shape I am for sprints. So I'm slowly regaining my <laughs> health right now, but you know, I'd chalk this up as definitely a new experience because, as I said, I don't think I would have bought the Adidas if, you know, the Nikes were still there. So, you know, this just helped me to get a new experience out of it and experience new things and kind of step out of my comfort zone, step into that area of the unknown. And I would, like, I, I don't know where anything is. Other than this, oh, okay. That allowed me to. Oh no, that's not the right thing. That that is. But... Oh. Alright, we'll use this one. We'll use this one. Okay, so that allowed me to. Yep. Oh, which which way is the right way? Is it this way? I think it's this way. Well, that allowed me to 
Man, I hope this is reading the right way. <laughs> uh, but yeah. That is where I'm going to end off the video for this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free. Comment down below anything you want to see, anything you want to hear, anything you want to talk about. Any opinions you have on all of this online shopping stuff. But, with it all being said, again, thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below if you want to. Feel free to also hit the like button, as well as to subscribe if you're new around here. For the third time, <laughs> with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, don't party too hard, and I'll, the, I'll catch up with you guys again in the next video. Have a good one.